Yeah, it's that Z to go. No, she my flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Rattlesnake Valley PC Edition. Uh, Farming Simulator 17. Uh, folks, I'm up here. Where am I at? Let me turn my stuff back on here. Um, as you can see, it's right here by our farm. And, uh, I, I think I'm in a movie photo or something because they're still, they won't move. They're there, but it's like a statue. But anyway, folks, this ain't part of the, the episode. I'm just ran across this and want to show y'all. And I got my volume to uh, Can y'all hear this? I don't know if y'all can hear the volume or not. But hang on this second. I'll be right back. Alright folks, that's much better, much better. Now, I don't know, I, I've been noticing that there's no gain volume whatsoever. So, uh, I'm going to turn this back up a little bit. And yeah. I'm going to go ahead and save game, because I'm just now starting recording, so, anyway, here's our trains, I sold them down to like 21, but I think when I get out, they just automatically pick speed back up, I don't know, well, these suckers run pretty fast, but, whoa, 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 I don't know if it's going to be YouTube friendly or not, but, we got a new truck, folks. Check it out. Now, I don't really like Kenworth, but this truck here is pretty daggum sharp. But I like the tires on it. Look at those mutters. This is going to be our field truck slash probably a lot more hauling. Take a look inside. Look here. 69 mile an hour, folks. Uh, I guess that's the CB radio right there. But yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Also, I went ahead and bought a few things, folks. Uh, no, you're not seeing doubles. But uh, we went with this wrapper because it does ball square and round. It's the Coon wrapper, which I got a Coon update I got to do. I got to find my product key, but I don't know what I've done with it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these things here stretch out to 17.4 meters wide. Now, I got them from uh, Mud, uh, Mud, <laughs> Mod.us. But this in here hooks to the front of the tractor, and that in there stays on the baler, so I figured this one would be good in case we use the loader wagon. So, having to say that, we got a bunch of stuff to sell. Oh, oh, I don't want y'all to see this one. But I got my favorite truck, folks. All it does is refuel. It don't do the other stuff. I thought it would, but because it's got seeds and stuff back here. See seeds. I guess that's wrap. I figured it would, uh, you know, at least do some seeds too. But, but it does work. Takes a little bit to start. But uh, it's listed in the Farming Simulator 17, not the official website of Farming Simulator 17, but it's another one. And, uh, 
Yeah, everything works on it, except for the lights. Now, the front don't work. That's the front light, and here's the back light. Whoa, it's bright. Lights up everything. Look at that. Back up there, and woo. But anyway, this is going to be my personal shirt, and we are going to use it to help transport things. Oh yeah, I forgot. We needed two more trailers. So I bought them two. I got the Wilson trailer and another flatbed trailer. The flatbed is going to go to the sheeps. And the Wilson trailer is just going to be used on the farm for when we harvest. Yeah, let me get this little guy here started. Our sheep's doing pretty good. Um, which we need more. Alright, get him started right there. Um, this update, you know, we got this trick up here that we're going to keep here. It's going to be for the water and, and other stuff. Um, let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna bring the flatbed up here, and that'll be for moving the hay bales and stuff. And folks, I want somebody to tell me. Let's see if I can find it. What is this thing? I tried putting regular grass in it. I tried putting hay in it. I I, I just don't know what it holds. Need somebody to tell me. Well, all right, we are going to get busy up here. I got all these guys. Well, I had to shut the game off and restart because of the mods of this. This done, but uh, these are going to be for the cows and the sheep's. Uh, 17 meters offset too. I don't know how I got to 17. Alright, go ahead and turn this on. Is that too far out for y'all? I don't know. Um, I like all the way out so you can get the picture of all of it, but. And folks, what I want to do here, I've been going across the ends, try to get all these ends. You don't want to make a sharp turn right here because then the baby won't pick up. Like, make it where there's no grass. See, I'm trying to get all this over here too. We may come back down here and work because I do have a course recorded. From here to the cows. So when we get done here, all this is going to be tucking up to the cows. And do we do have fields up there, so what I might do, since we're low on money, is after we get this grass here, go up to the cows, I'll record a course up there, and we'll use that for the sludge bales. We'll wrap them. We'll do a little wrap, 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 wrap. But after, let's see, after we get done here, we won't need this windrower no more. I don't believe. We'll try to udden out this front for the front of the tractor. It's supposed to be better. I don't know. Like I said, I really, really don't know because it's. I've seen a couple of other YouTubers, uh, Kentucky Farmer, and I think Diesel Designs used it. But we do have a problem here, folks. We got one single round bell. So I think after we get everything done, we'll use it again. 
All right, now what I want to do here, from here on, we're just going to load. And oh, by the way, I got my folders back in place. Yay! I think it's a uh, big win row. We'll do it. Yeah. All right, so we want to start on this one right here. So hopefully, nearest waypoint. And uh, it'll work. I'll drive course. All right. We just hope that Baylor picks it up. I gotta check my truck. I don't think. Oh, that's what I thought. Work position and work position. I think. Yeah, okay, that is. And that is. Probably missed some back there, but we'll let this course work, let these guys work. And we got to do a few other things, show y'all some things around the shop. I'm, I'm letting them drop a bell before I leave, folks, so we'll make sure everything's working right. But I've done some things to the shop. You know, we, we sold all that stuff because the railroad track and the update and stuff was puts a train right through the building. So I sold all that stuff and I've done some other bales, those grass bales, but you know, they help pay for some of the newer stuff that we've done. Come on, drop a bale already. There you go. All right. Yeah, sheep area. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, I'm going to ease myself up in the air a little bit so you can see. Um, put the shot back. I guess we'll start right here. Put a pressure washer right there. I'll put a light here in case it's night time. Put this shed back here. Got the combine header. I don't know if that combine pulls the header trailer or not, but I went ahead and parked it there. Got a fertilizer. I did make a, a round or two around the shop to lay the grass down. Uh, got most of the stuff back organized. Got the plow on that plow and tractor. Yeah that trailer and I believe that'd be it but uh going inside the shop here I got the big boy here with the cultivator uh, I got this guy with the sweeper another pressure washer that way you know wash from each side and this is the newest thing drop back to earth here for a second it's a diesel tank well actual thing here now, I don't know if we have to fill it up or if it's viable from there, but put another spotlight there. Went right on down here, folks, and we got our communication tire right there. Now, I do have to save up, put one at the sheep, at the farm shop, and at the cows. That way we can communicate with each other. You know, I got to keep up with Jay Boo and Boo. And the other members. Another spotlight there and a spotlight over there. And that's pretty much it, I believe. You now this is the update they done. And a corner of our shop came to about right there. And uh yeah, that was just a mess. Looks pretty. I'm almost up there to communication time. I'm going to raise on up just a little bit more here.
But this is our communication tire. I wish we could actually get right there and come up that ladder. But it's pretty neat. But it brings us money. I can't remember how much. Uh, it's in the placeable mods. Just scroll on over here, find it, and let y'all know. And we need to get one of them folks that turns grass into uh, solage also. See, that thing should be right here somewhere. Oh, right, right there. $160 an hour, folks. So, yeah. Need a couple more. But just to back up, you know, we got, uh, I believe, wheat, which I shouldn't have done because we got plenty of straw. Um, that should be canola. But wheat, barley, we're going to lay straw down, get that. And uh, they're almost ready. I just want to show you the shop area, how I got it set up. There comes the train. Chica, chica, choo, choo. Oh, by the way, we have an outlet here now. So, uh, really don't know. I guess go to 16 and 17. But I want to buy a field 14. It's uh, a million dollars. A little over a million. So, uh, yeah. But I still got to get the planner in place. And let's move on over here. You can see right here we got plenty of room. So we may be. I might be moving these two and putting a couple buildings right here. And then replacing them. And that will be for like the plows and stuff. And I know it's kind of ridiculous to have a shop over here, but folks, we can come out right here and go right straight into 14, and 14 is huge. And if I'm not mistaken, right, yeah, that's our farm shop right over there, our original farm shop. But having said all this, our canola is ready. There's still uh, canola. Yep, still canola. Barley is ready. And wheat is ready. Let's go to our map real quick. I, I didn't think those were ready that quick. Holy cow, it is. Oh, yeah, folks. I only have a few. Um. No nuggets left to pick up. And what's the demand here? Sugar beet factory. Oh, we don't have no sugar beets. And folks, all these crops we got up here, I think I'm going to pull them out and take them to the pig food mixer up there. And as you can see, our is still zero. But we, we can't borrow them yet. I don't know why. I guess because of the money mod. Let's see. There are pigs going to need uh, pig food. And they'll be ready to buy. Uh, let's go over to our cows next, I believe. Because I've got a few things over there I've been doing. Uh, we got 92 of the gold nuggets. So, yeah. Let's, uh, where's our cows at? Right here. Let's visit our cowies. Um, there we go. As you can see, I've been putting some in this. And we got 150,000 of that, which that's full. Straw bales here, grass bales over there, and our other truck here. I'm gonna load this up with sillage. 
or not sullage, uh, rations, power food. Probably won't hold that much. But like I said, folks, we got a lot of grass fields up here. We just have to, you know, get to it. <laughs> and quit hitting things. And yes, folks, I am going to keep this one. There's our power food, which wasn't very much. Let's see what it put. Okay, so, so yeah. We're ready on the cows. We just need to get a water trailer down here, which I didn't buy. Uh, we need to collect those gold nuggets, folks. I ain't too far from it. Wow, ah, if I quit hitting buildings. And folks, I, I hate keep bothering, but you know, I know I ain't very good at making these videos, but some of y'all say I am, and I really appreciate that, and thank y'all, and thank my subscribers. I think I'm up 57 subscribers now, but uh, if any of y'all out there feeling generous and have a uh, hole in their pocket, uh, I would appreciate if somebody would donate some... Uh, money to my channel because the big bud mod is coming out and I want to get it as soon as it comes out and start using it for y'all well folks I, I hate to say it but you know I, I'm not rich uh, can't work I got a bad back so I can't work you know I can work some jobs but nobody's up right now wanting to hire somebody that has to sit down every 20 minutes because of my back but anyway um I'm gonna try to make a living off of YouTube <laughs> yeah and folks all these gold nuggets are in the driveway and plain open which I kind of like it in a way but well I went too far from that Ah. Right there, plain open sight. 97, folks. Oh, if we get a million dollars off these gold nuggets, uh, first thing I'm going to do is buy another combine. And, yeah. One more, folks. Where is it? A bit for, oh, it's going to be on this other side. Hope I can make... Oh, oh. Ah. Folks, this is it. This is the last gold nugget. Please, million dollars. Oh, oh you have found all gold nuggets. You're a, rem you're a remarkable find. Nets you one million dollars. Folks, we got it. Ooh, I am rich again. All right, this is our semi. We gotta get this bad boy out. It don't have a back attacher, so it's on the downside to this thing. Um, let's see here. Since our crops are ready, I know you're not supposed to back in like this, but. Oh, 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 I had it, I had it. I had it that once. It's going to make me do it the right way in it. I should have pushed them back a little bit further. All right, we got this. Now this holds 70,000. I don't know how this is going to work with the 
course play, but let's see what's in our transport folder here. Uh, no, not what I'm looking for. My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, driver. Wow, actually done pretty good. I have a feeling I'm going to have to finish this by hand, though. Well, it shouldn't be too hard, folks. Get all that junk out of the way. I'll go kind of straight here. I hope this don't mess them up too bad. Almost two loads. Wow. Now, I really don't know how we're going to get that. Now, I guess I have to bring a this another trailer back or something. Can I get it? Yeah, I got it. Good. Go down here, turn around, make sure they got all this. And then start back up right here. Since the bale rolled out of the way. Alright. I'm going to drive down and around to check, make sure we got everything. And then we're going to send these bad boys to the cows area. Yeah, spot right there, but that's fine. Uh, be all right. We're going to come back down here because this is a pretty large field. Looks like we got some on this corner down here. Yep. Slow back down. I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. There. Now, I'll fold him up. Gonna park him right here. Whoa, that scared me. Must be auto save. We're gonna take this bad boy back and sell him. Let's see here. We're gonna get this guy rolling to the shop while we're waiting on those others. to 15 let's see mark it to 15 yeah and drive of course um I guess I'm gonna get this guy and get him on the wrapper And I moved some of this stuff out of the way first, folks. Oh, can't do that. That's... Yeah, it's a two point hitch type. So I can move that one baby out of the way. 
it just takes a while to start but uh, folks this truck is under a F-150 on the mod hut I believe or mod land oh don't tell me Ah, can't tell because of the fuel pump symbol. But we're going to go ahead and unfold. Oh, okay, it does it itself. Good. Look how wide, folks. Now, there's supposed to be an up and down on this, too. Let me get my other deal up here. Not at the right. Yeah, that's so it. Raises it up and down. We want to make sure that's down. B to lower that. Turn on. Voila, folks. That's a good, nice whiff right there, folks. So that's, that's what we're going to be using. The telescope's in now. And it folds. Well, we're first going to use this on the uh, Phil 15. So it's going to be loaded the same course. Log it to 15 and drive course. Whoa. Oh, okay. Beacon on the trailer there. Good. Ah. All right. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. I forgot, we're going to sell this bad boy and get another one. Sell. Okay. Wow. Alright, let's go in our shop real quick. And that was under mowers. I hate when it does that. What well, it does, folks, it, it, up here you can go into different things. But well, this is the. Oh. Yeah, this is the regular Big M. And this is a Big M 500 wide. So there's a big difference. And we'll buy that. Yes. And what it's going to be is one's going to be for sheeps. One's going to be for the cows, folks. So they're going to move this out of the way for now. It is kind of late in the evening. We might have to... Uh, what are you doing? You, you made it. But, oh, I didn't hit stop. The uh, last waypoint. All right, we're going to get a newer combine. Whoa. Can't cut sharp. We got that trailer there for a backup. Just want to try some. Yeah, already had the fuel symbol. Okay, so it does buy fuel. So we don't have to worry about refilling it. Mm. I'll park this guy out a little bit further. About like that. Oh good, he's almost there. Uh, let's see, we're supposed to buy a combine. Um, 
Oh, we're going to get our usual John Deere Combine. Um, 12 mile an hour. 6,400, really? Well, that's it. Thought I'd hold more than that. When it's 34 mile an hour, that holds 100,000 liters. I wish I'd turn that down a little bit, it'd be more perfect. So it's 4,500 or 14,500. And oh, wait, I guess I didn't have it clicked on or something. I clicked on it and changed the 14,100 20 mile an hour. Okay, so we're going we're to buy this bad boy. Sorry spending so much time in the shop, folks, but you know me and money. Uh, we're going to get a header for it. But this is the two headers for it. But this time, folks, I'm getting this. This in here is 11.5, and this in here is 13.7. And uh, yeah, and uh, this in here don't have you have to buy a header trailer for it. This in here, it's got the wheels on it. We'll have to get a truck or something pull it, but yeah. So we're gonna get it. And we're gonna have to start getting into corn too. But folks, I want to buy a field. Now we're right at a million dollars. Crap. Uh oh. Oh Lord, that's a bad spot to be slipping. Yeah, I'm going to drop that off right there. We're going to be using it right over on that side. We're going to go over and look at this field, folks. And uh, catch you when I get over. All right. Uh, one thing, we're probably going to start taking our grain and stuff to this place. Go over here. I don't know the name of it. I guess this is a working building. It don't have a name on it. And it don't have an ID on it either. So I guess it works. We're just going to find out and see. But anyway, folks, we're going to get this field here. It's 14. Field number 14. Oh, my God. He wants $3 million for it. I thought it was a million. We're allowed to mow a lot of grass, folks. A lot of grass. Trying to see what all tractors he's got.
That's a pretty fast tractor right there. Folks, I'm going to do this mission real quick. Try to get the price of this field lower down. That's a flint. Flints are pretty nice. Get this bad boy unfolded. And folks, this field is huge. It goes way over. Put that in part my truck in the way. But I'm going to do this mission and uh, I guess I'll catch you at the end of it, okay? Alrighty. Catch you in a few. Uh, yeah, 109 minutes in a few. I forgot I got GPS. Alright folks, I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Alright folks, we don't have very much longer on this mission. I was hoping we'd see the train come through, but... Way. Well, folks, this has been a long process all the way from over there to over here. We're going to have to have a lot of cow poop to do this video like this. But yeah, almost done. We're at like a uh, through and a half, maybe. So I'm going to uh, shut up here so I can fast forward just a few minutes till we get the icon pop up. Alright folks. Forty-four thousand and twenty-one thousand. All right, thank you so much. Let's see what they got us down to. <laughs> oh lordy! Whoa! Ain't no way, folks. Five hundred and ninety-seven minutes. No, I, I, I can't do that. We got to bypass the plow. All right, we got to take our truck on up to the shop. And this is where I wish we had front lights. We got the back, but not the front. And I hope we can get to the shop this way. Oh yeah, straight ahead and to the left there. And there's our barn. We're going to figure out how to get in there and uh, sell some sellage bales. That's going to be about the only way. Ooh, almost got that bow. It's going to be the only way we could uh, actually raise money. The easy way, anyway. Do that one field there, and uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna probably do some off, off missions off screen. Try to say off field, but I know that wasn't right. But uh, yeah. But anyway, do some missions off screen. And no, I'm not gonna cheat money in. I'm going to actually find some field that's ready to harvest and do the harvest missions. Well, they're easy, especially if I get a big combine. Set course play, not course play, but GPS mod up. Now I go tinker around with something in my room while I'm working on the mission. 
I don't know why I brought this thing back up here for. Oh, the trailer, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Forget about this, baby. All right, we're going to go ahead and get it going back since we don't have no headlights. And I don't own all of Rattlesnake Valley yet, right yet, so I don't know what the popo is going to do. Ah, uh, car, you would. I have hazards. I'm on a trailer, that's all that matters. I'm on a truck. Nope. All right, you know what we need? Market to fifteen and drive course. Please don't hit none. All right, here's a bad boy John Deere combine. It shows to have a hitch, but I don't know it will not. Oh, there we go. Turn those beacons on so we get blinded by the light. Get your big booty out the door. All the lights seem to work on it, so that's good. Alright, same course. Mark it to 15. Drive course. Um, stop at the next. Oh, they actually caught up to me. Yeah, what we got? Uh, hang on, let me. All right, two bells from having enough. No, more than that. Okay. Um. See, that's aggravated. We need to get our truck. And uh, stop at the last waypoint. And we need a tractor badly. Oh, we're right here at it. We'll run inside our shop here. Grab this boy because he ain't on it yet. And we need a place to put our bumper. I guess we're going to park it right here. Now, I was wanting to put the maintenance shop somewhere, but it won't let me put it right there beside the building, so. That kind of messed me up, so. All right, load course. We're going uh, 15, let's see, F15 to market. And we're going to go over here to our waypoint. I don't want them slipping. All right, drive course. Stop at last. And we're going to go over here to our John Deere. <laughs> Stop driver for a second. And we're going to drive course. Now, this is going to get pretty interesting because you see he's out wide. Where's our truck at? Go our map here. Okay, our combine's a red dot. We're right there at the curve. Ooh. Our right, tractor's coming up the road. Alright, folks, what I'm going to do is let's get uh, John Deere combine down here, and get this on down to the shop. Get the rake and stuff down here to the shop. Oh, that was close. That was close, folks. Ah, right, the combine's going to be the next one. But I'm going to get everything situated. Um, sell some sullage, probably. I'm going to do some around the cow area there. The next time we come in, we're going to have both combines running. And I may also buy a grain buggy. 
that way our trucks don't have to go out into the field and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and do this myself. But uh, folks, I guess I'm going to end the episode here. I know it's going to be probably a little short, but... Let's see. I'm going to... We're going to start down here first, folks. Get the... Uh, uh, stuff that we can bail first. That way we can have quite a few workers working when we come back in our edX episode. But folks, once again, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Share me with your friends and hit that like button also. It helps me out so much, folks. And also, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, Lord, I bet they hit each other. All right, I'm going to go check this out, folks. And like I said... Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Oh, my God. Which one am I? Tractor. All right, folks. We're going to get off here. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to subscribe now. Bye.